Cheers, Internet. We're back. Sorry, it's been a while. I've missed each and every... Okay, fine. There's only one of you. Uh, but I've missed you. Really. It's not lonely. So, we, we came to you last season from the East Coast with Phil and the rest of the crew. This year, we've managed to shift left. So the Games and Ferrets managed to come with us. We wanted to keep sharing the joys of gaming with you guys, but in a new way. So instead of doing large-scale groups with large-themed sessions, like the Whiskey and Flux that we did last year, we're going to focus more on a two- to three-player session. Sometimes we're going to do larger groups. We may do some kind of niche party games, how to play a party game that isn't just who can yell the loudest. Some of those large-scale games that we might occasionally do would be things like Ultimate Werewolf, Wits and Wagers, The Resistance, Avalon, and one of my family's favorites, Reverse Charades. Now, like I said, we're putting more of a two- to three-player focus on. Occasionally, we will also get some preview copies of some games that uh, we will bring a more mid-sized group in with. But we really want to focus this new season on what to do, what to play, uh, when you only have two or three people. Beth and I moved out here, there's only two of us, so we kind of had to scramble and, you know, meet some new people, but at the same time try to find some games to play when it's just us. So there's a lot of mods out there for two-player games, some of them are good, some of them are not so good. There's a lot of games that are designed for two to three players. Some of them are great, some of them are not so great. That's, that's how that goes. So we're going to focus on um, either making a mod ourselves or evaluating mods that exist, as well as playing the ones that are already defined for 2 to 3. Some of the examples that we actually brought with us today, Rivals of Catan is designed exactly for 2, Mage Wars, etc. Uh, then you've got ones that are larger that just happen to work for two, like Stone Age. Now, as for location, you may have noticed that we're not exactly in the Luscious Theater anymore. We're actually coming to you from one of our local game stores. It's called Around the Table. It's a gamer pub. Uh, it means they've got beer, games, and in this case, even some ice cream. So, very, very nice place to go. We actually come down here three days a week. We're doing deck building on Sundays. We do Worker Placement Tuesdays, and we do co-op every Thursday night. Huzzah! For shamelessly plugging our own meetups! Seriously though, check the meetup boards for any scheduling changes, because we may be shifting our schedules over the course of time. Whenever you see this in the future, hello future, uh, we uh, might not be here on Sundays at that point, it might be Mondays. So check the boards, and definitely come down, we'd love to play with you if you're in the Seattle area. A huge thanks to Nick, Tim, and the whole crew down here at Around the Table. Not only do they run a really pleasant, family-friendly shop, but we're always finding new games, new beers, new ice cream, and sometimes some new pizza as well. So come on down! Seriously though, I, can, I, I absolutely can't believe that we live close enough to be able to come to this place regularly. We're very lucky. and. A huge thanks to the whole crew just for having a shop like this, and especially for letting us use this space. So, what do we have for beers on top right Ah, uh, so let's see, we've got uh, the local uh, brewery, Big E, we have their root beer, which okay. is delicious. We've got the Anderson Valley uh, Bourbon Barrel Stout. Okay. We've got uh, Schooner Exacts um, uh, Gallant Maiden Hefeweizen. Okay. We've got uh, Ninkasi's Tricera Hops, nice yeah. hoppy IPA, and we've got the um, from Virtue Cidery, uh, the Pear Chironge, the Norman style sour cider. One more too. There's the Flemish sour beer, uh, the uh, Duchesse. Duchesse. Excellent. There we go. That's all uh, six. I think I'm gonna go with the Bourbon Barrel Stout. All right. I'll bring one right in. Hello Internet, this is Bethany here. I would like to point out that we have wonderful full tilt ice cream here at Around the Table with 16 different flavors and various flavors in hand-packed pints. I think we're going to take advantage of that right now and order us up our special new menu item. It is 
four chocolate chip cookies, freshly baked to order with a couple of scoops of ice cream over on top. It is delicious and we haven't come up with a name for it yet. We've been tasked with naming them and we're going to talk to you, Internet, about possibly submitting some entries for the name for this new item. So the person who comes up with a name that's approved by both us and the store owners will get a menu item named and we'll get a copy of Gloom. First edition. There we go. We'll get that sent out to you as soon as it's taken care of. All legal stuff about, you know, restrictions. Things. Entries for household. Yeah. Kings of the moon. Etc. We accept bribes. So, that said, you know, we talked about how we're going to move into a lot of different two-player games now, two to three. Uh, sometimes we'll have a third player join us. Um, Beth, you want to go over some of the games that we're going to be playing? Sure. You know, it's really hard when there's two of you, not counting my multiple personalities. Um, they cheat a lot, so I don't like to play with them. We, uh, we like to play a lot of, you know, larger games. Um, sometimes the rules that come with the game are not particularly good for two players, like they have you kind of put an imaginary third person, so we're trying to come up with mods that work a little bit better, as well as just bringing to light some of the maybe less known two-player, strictly two-player format games, or games that just happen to work really well with two-player that you might not expect. Uh, coming down the pipeline, I would like to see us play Tigris and Euphrates, which is a nice, excellent classic that happens to be out of print right now. Corporate games such as Pandemic, uh, also maybe some nice light card games like Rivals for Catan. We actually have the Uncharted board game that we're thinking about playing today. It's um, not intentionally intended for two players, but it does play pretty well with two. We also have the Ticket to Ride Nordic Countries, which is specifically designed for two to three players. And Stone Age, which is worker placement, and its worker placements work well for two. Looks like our drinks are here now. Awesome. I want to take the opportunity again to thank you guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Really appreciate getting the space back here and just being able to come here every week. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, the, the place is all about having lots of people here. So. Awesome. Awesome. Not to put you too much on the spot, but I wanted to give you guys a bit of a chance to kind of tell us more about the store, tell the internet more about the store. Okay. The internet's a curious guy. So. Hi, internet. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, so, I guess my first question is that I've been coming here for a while, I never thought to ask, but, you know, how old's the store and uh, how'd you guys come up with the idea? Uh, so the store is, depending on how you count, about six months old, we're going to have our six month anniversary. So we're going to do a big uh, customer appreciation uh, event and have some sales and play games all weekend and awesome. stuff like that. So yeah, so six months in. Perfect. Not bad. That's, yeah. uh, which date? So that would be the weekend right around the 13th or 14th, whatever. So it'll be much fun in eating and drinking while well. Yes. And game playing, of course. <laughs> and we'll probably have some door prizes and sales and that kind of thing, too. I always so, wanted a new door. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> Zing! <laughs> well, we are the most family-friendly show. <laughs> she's saying that as we're saying up, she's like... So are we going to go family friendly? I'm like, we're, we're at least going to not like scream obscenity. <laughs> like, there's a sign on the front of the store that says family friendly. I'm not going to scream obscenity. So, well, you know, family friendly, you might not know about all the, the, what family friendly means all in kind of North Seattle. Yeah, I was just saying, no. it might be a little edgier than the barriers <laughs> Well, because there's all these bikini baristas. And, that's uh, and so then the opposite of, of a bikini barista is a family friendly barista. So, uh, so yeah, well, so, so the, the baristas that wear clothes are the family friendly ones. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, the other direction. So I could come in and... I was going to say, I, really, I, I kind of don't want to see you in a bikini. Just because, sorry. We actually had a friend who had a funny story about accidentally... She accidentally went to one of these places. Uh, but it was called the Honey Pot. Like, <laughs> she did that play yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was gonna ask you, Tim, are there any games you guys would like to maybe join in with us on the show? We can, you know, peel you away. I oh. can get a ski mask and a butterfinger and hold you up at the counter and drag you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, 
You know, I, uh, I'd love to play Agricola or Agricola, all creatures big and small, if you want to do it. two players. Uh, that's one of my favorites. Um, uh, Splendor. So I, I guess um, one of my last questions here for you are uh, any any plans to expand uh, your offerings? You guys have the beer, the ice cream, the games. You uh, got regular meetups that come here every day. Yeah, so um, most of our expansion right now is focused more on the, the, the food and drink um, uh, arena. And so we've got, um, we're, we're hopefully we're supposed to do it today, but it got postponed to Monday. We're going to bring in a, uh, uh, a cooler just for the root beer. The root beer is so popular uh, awesome. that that our small that our small exactly with the small kegs aren't we go through them so fast. So we're going to get our own kegerator for the root beer. Awesome. You can expand to multiple different types of the root beer. Uh, no, the the, the the tap that's devoted to um, root beer right now, we're gonna switch out, and that's gonna be seasonal beers. Oh, so, oh seasonal. yeah. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get some pumpkin flavored stuff in there. Nice. Oh, it is, it is, it is the season, say. exactly. And so then, uh, so that's that's kind of the leftover from August's expansion. Yeah. September's plan, we're gonna put in a, a coffee and tea service. Awesome. So, do so have a lot of requests for that. Yeah. And then we've got a couple new menu items we're going to try it out. We just put in a new uh, pita bread and hummus platter. Yep. And we've got then this, this uh, cookie dessert that we've been working on that maybe we'll bring out. Yeah, yeah, yeah we actually do. Uh, yeah. The elves are busy cooking. The elves are busy cooking them right now. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Um, and then, of course, you know, the game wise, it's. Um, the, the shelves still aren't as full as they could be, so... Always um, more to get? There's always more to get, and, um, you know, this is our first year doing this. I've been in the gaming industry for 20 years now, so I kind of know what to expect coming into the holiday season, but just with how fast we've grown and everything, I'm, uh, it's, it's a little scary trying to figure out how many of the hot new games to bring in, and where we're going to put them and stack yeah. them all over the place and yeah so you guys are booming you are going very fast <laughs> so um, uh, you know we thought we thought 2200 square feet was going to last us for all, quite a while but it you know it was, I, it was full last night incorrect, incorrect but yes. uh, fortunately incorrect yes so yeah it's it's uh it's good to have these problems there are good problems to have. Well, thanks again. You know, we're going to yeah. kind of set up here for a few games and uh, hopefully uh, introduce and enjoy that uh, cookie ice cream devilish. Cookie Monster. That would be great. What would our Cookie Monster ice cream, though? So for those of you who did not purchase the smell vision upgrade to your computer, what is wrong with you, first off? We have this uh, wonderful creation. It's a... Uh, Ice cream on four freshly baked cookies. And I think you might want to smell that smell. That is amazing. You guys help us come up with a name for this awesome thing. Damn. And we will send you a copy of Bloom from the first edition printer. Indeed. And you get to be all famous and be like, oh, dessert, and you come to the menu and run the table. Yeah. So, the menu item, as defined currently, I believe, is simply going to be a set of four cookies with um, two scoops of whatever ice cream you choose thrown on top of it. So, this one happens to be with vanilla. Um, keeping it simple, it really tastes nice. Can't go wrong. Perfect. I will say the salty caramel is also excellent on this. I was um, tried it last time on one of our pilot ones. It's smaller. So today we've elected to start off the season with a game of Uncharted, the board game. So this is a game that we picked up a while ago. Um, I'm a big fan of the Uncharted video games. We chose to play it mostly because of that. I approach any licensed game like this with a huge grain of salt because uh, licensed games often, they, they lack the spirit of it. But after playing it, I was really pleased with the way they, they mimicked uh, what you experience in the video game. 
you know, you're moving along fine, you're kind of exploring, you're figuring things out, and then all of a sudden you realize, like, shit, I'm surrounded by enemies. Holy crap, that is a submarine in the middle of the rainforest. Yeah. And suddenly you've got to go on a killing spree to get out from where you are. While we enjoy this ice cream, we're going to go and review what the rules are. Hopefully you can figure out a name for the ice cream. Cheers! <laughs>